And we're on top of a dang castle. Well, y'all, good morning. Uh, I am still down here in Kansas. If you haven't watched the last couple videos, I would recommend checking those out. Uh, and I am on the top of a big old hill. And I'm still sitting in the truck right now because it's incredibly windy out there. So I do apologize in advance for the wind noise that is going to happen in this video. But right off to the left of me, there's a guy buying castle. What is that? So we're going to hop out and check that out. Stay tuned, y'all. This should be a good one. Hey, morning. Oh, don't worry about me. You guys are fine. I'm taking a video. You can wander around. You ain't gonna bother me. All right. So, as you guys can probably tell, it's incredibly windy. If I'm not careful, I'm gonna lose my hat. Uh, but yeah, there's a big castle back there. And right over here, there's a little bit of a fire pit. Uh, I don't know, you can go in the castle. I don't know if there's any information in there, but why don't we, oh, there's another building down there. Maybe we'll go check out that one first and let these folks check out the castle. Oh, there's like a viewpoint over here. Like little picnic table areas. Oh, we're way up on a hill. Oh, these all have little individual fireplaces. That would be cool to use. And they're like all around here. There's a couple more that way. You can see the road down there that I drove up on. It curves all the way down, way down to that farmland down there. And uh, the town that I stayed in last night is just off that way. Wind is just howling, y'all. Let's go check that out. Y'all, I think this might just be bathrooms. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, that was interesting. All right. Let's head up to the castle here. So it's called Coronado Castle, Coronado Heights Castle, I believe. Just chilling on a hill in the middle of Kansas. My sunglasses just flew off my head. Those are probably done for. Yep. Holy crap, it's windy out there, y'all. Well, my sunglasses went flying off my hat. Put a big ding in them. These lasted me quite a few years, though. I guess I'll have to get some new ones. Okay, so right as you walk in the entrance, there's a, a plaque here. It says, in memory of Dr. Dwayne Fredericks, when Fredrickson, contributing 45 years of selfless service to the Smoky Valley Historical Association and Coronado Heights Park. It says Coronado Heights, this is Coronado Heights, I guess, Coronado Heights Castle, is listed in the National Register of Historic Places by the United States Department of the Interior. And there's some stairs to go up, but we'll check out this main floor here. Oh, wow. Got the windows up there. Look at the size of the timbers. And just a big room in here. A couple of uh, chairs down there, a couple of tables. And the wind is just howling through here, too. Oh, it's got a fireplace inside. Man, the timbers in here, the size of those things are huge. Like, they're massive. 
It's neat in here. Big stone tables. Get up in the corner over here. Yeah, just a big stone castle. Now this would be a cool spot to stay the night. I don't know if you'd be able to get away with that though. Uh, I wish there was a plaque that said the history of it or something like how long it's been here. There's nothing like that outside. Let's walk up these steps here. I think this might be open up top. Kind of? Yeah, it is. Holy shit. So you've got a little room up here. Wow. All right. I have to be really careful with my hat or I'm gonna lose it. I'm going back outside. It's gonna be windy. There's the truck down there. I can kinda hide behind this wall, I think. There we go. And there we go. And we're on top of a dang castle. Look at that view out there. Just, you can see for miles and miles. There's the bathroom I walked to and uh, there's the big fire pit here, the fireplace, and over on this side were the little ones that I went to. You can see those there. Those things go all the way around here. There I can count one, two, three, four, like five of them off over there. So I don't know if they do events up here or what, but yeah. Dang old castle, boy. Dang old castle. Really, really cool. I'm gonna have to take a look at my phone and see if I can find the history of this actual building, like what it's, why it's here. There. It's above the door. WPA 1292. I cannot believe how windy it is. And although we can't get up there in the ceiling, there is a trap door so you can get on top of this turret. I imagine there was a ladder in here at some point. And you can see, man, the wind just coming through that hole. You can see they've done some repair with some bigger block here. I cannot believe how windy it is. Even inside the building. This is awesome. Let's see if I have a cell reception in here. I do. All right, what's this, what's this place all about? Take a look at the Wikipedia. Coronado Heights is a hill northwest of Lindsburg, Kansas in the United States. It is alleged to be near the place where Francisco Vasquez de Coronado gave up his search for the seven cities of gold and turned around to return to Mexico. Coronado Heights is one of a chain of seven sandstone bluffs in the Dakota Formation and rises approximately 300 feet. And yes, it was a big hill to get up here. Let's see what was built. Okay, so it says in 1920, the first road was built up the hill known as Swenson Drive with a footpath known as Olson Trail. And in 1936, a stone shelter resembling a castle was built on top of a hill as a project of the Works Project Administration. So that means that's what that WPA was up there. In 1988, a sculpture by John Whitefield was placed halfway up the hill with the inscription Coronado Heights, a place to share. I did drive past that. And it's now owned by the Smoky Valley Historical Association. Oh, so this started in 1915. A professor of Bethany College in Lindsburg found a chain mail from Spanish armor at the Sharps Creek site, a Native American village excavation site a few miles southwest of the hill, so just southwest of here. And another Bethany College professor promoted the name of Coronado Heights for the hill. So that's why this ended up here. I guess it's kind of like a tribute to the Francisco Vasquez de Coronado and what they were doing here, something like along those signs. Uh, so I guess it wasn't ever built to be like lived in or anything like that, but 
I think it's really cool. I think it's really cool. And it's all kind of made out of the same sandstone, which like the uh, cliff stuff that I saw the other day. And so people have carved their names into a lot of these rocks in here. Man, it would be cool to just come up here and hang out like inside, get a fire going. But that's definitely not gonna happen today with the wind. So really bummed about my sunglasses. But let's uh, head back out here. Back into the barren tundra. Oh. And uh, let's drive over to that side. See what those, uh, see if it's all just the same thing over there with those little pits. Well, actually, I should probably get some pictures first. Okay, back in the truck. Some other folks showed up to take a look at it. But I got some photos. But man, you're just on this huge hill, and you're the only ones up here. Yeah, there's more of those tables and fire pits there. They're over here, they're everywhere. Those are cool. Ooh, there's a lake down there. Okay, wind. Oh. We'll just leave it open. <laughs> Man. Don't blow me off the cliff if I ain't careful. Yeah, same thing here, guys. That one over there was supposed to be right there. That one fell into the fell into the abyss. But there's a lake down there. All right, I just got to get back in the truck. I think. I can't even focus the camera. Holy crap, it's windy out there. Uh, well, excuse the wind noise, but that was really cool to see. Uh, I really wish it wasn't so windy, cause man, I'd, I'd chill out and like wait a while and make lunch or something here. Wind is just blowing me around. But just the view out in front of me, there's, God, you can just see for miles miles around this would be a perfect spot to live in a castle that's for sure so uh the wind is coming out of the south which means i should probably use it to my advantage with this gas hungry turd and uh probably i think today we'll make our way back into nebraska and uh see what we can find along the way i guess see where we can find a camp tonight i don't really know where i'm gonna go um but yeah i'm gonna get back on the road there's nothing to be done outside here right now. So, Coronado Heights Castle, uh, just outside of Lindsburg, Kansas. Lind Lindberg, Lindsborg, Kansas. Uh, it's a sight worth seeing. Try to find it on a less windy day. And man, I got a scratch right there, a really deep one. Yeah catches my fingernail that's gonna be right right where I look through it that's a bummer well these are done for uh, but in all reality they're just cheaper sunglasses from shields I believe I've got these in here I don't know where these came from I never wear them but these will be my sunglasses for a while now I guess to like go buy another pair all right I'm gonna get on the road, y'all, and uh, we shall see where this adventure takes us. Stay tuned. Try not to drive off the edge of the cliff. I probably better back up a little bit. Oh, oh, oh gosh, where are you going? There's the castle up there.
right there is the pillar that they were talking about that was erected. Oh, and there's steps that you can walk all the way up that hill. Big no thanks to that. So on the back, it says something, a place to something. A place to share in really small letters on the back of it. And then on the front, it says Coronado. Coronado, they've got a cross and a sword. And it says 1541 on the bottom. But just a twisty, windy road up and down. So I'll see you guys whenever I get to where I'm going. All right, y'all, I've made it back to Nebraska and I'm at a campsite that might look familiar to you guys. So I think I stayed here like maybe three weeks ago, something like that. But I came to this spot because there's this big hill here, whatever, that goes down to the little creek and lake down here. And since it's a south wind, that's blocking 90% of the wind. So I went from barely being able to stand up and having my hat and sunglasses blown off this morning to uh, something that's relatively good. It's still breezy down here, but we should be able to get a campfire going so we can cook dinner. So, uh, I don't know. I think it's like 4 30, 5 o'clock and it's in the eighties right now. So it's actually fairly warm, but I'm going to get my junk set up and, uh, we'll get into dinner here pretty quick. Well y'all, we're gonna crack one open. So this is a Pipeworks Brewing Company, the finest Doppelbach. And let's see what it says. One point, 6.9% brewed in Camden, Chicago. Artwork by Ryan Duggan. 
That's all it says. Doesn't really say anything about the beer. Fire's going. Starting to cool off a little bit, thankfully. I think this is a dark one. It's kind of dark. It's not bad, though. To drink that slow. Kind of has like a caramel flavor to it. Okay. Yeah. Well, we're going to let this burn for a little bit. Yeah. We'll make ourselves something to eat. There's a chance for rain again tonight. Uh, it would be funny if it did actually storm since the last time I was here it stormed. But we'll see if that happens for now. Just enjoy the scenery, the sights and sounds, of nature. There's stuff walking around in the trees out there, for sure. I heard some turkeys earlier. Well, I'm sitting in the truck. I guess let me turn the big lights on. I've been sitting in here with the lights off, but there we go. And enjoying the fire this way. I don't want to keep those lights on too long or the Bugs will come in here. Been texting my buddy Trip, and I think I'm gonna be really lazy tonight and eat a Lunchable and just enjoy this view till it dies out. I've got food I was gonna cook, but I did grab a couple of these. been a while since I've had these. That are nice. I do have two of these. I'll probably eat both of them. Bugs in here are crazy. But it's nice to be able to have the back open. I need to put the tent back in here that Dave gave me. I took it out over the winter. I need to put that back under the bed. I don't know about y'all, but that's a pretty good view. Last one on here. beautiful morning birds are going crazy out there the sun is coming up right behind you guys oh. and the weather is perfect I'm not cold I'm not too hot on here but 
in person. It's really pink out there. So last night I got to lay here and bed and watch the fire out that window. And now I got the sun coming up out of that window. Oh. Uh -oh. Yeah. Been a great trip. Oh, let's get some coffee going. Tiny little glazed donuts. Oh. Sunrise looking minty over there. He is brewing on this beautiful morning. Bye bye. We got a bunch of groceries that I didn't use last night because I was being really lazy. It's all right. Okay to be lazy sometimes. All right. nice to stay a little bit longer this morning but I got things I got to get done today and I've been on the road for three days at this point three nights I guess this is day number four um, so I need to get home and start editing some of this footage but uh, it's been a great trip all the stuff that I saw down in Kansas over the last couple videos was great the castle yesterday morning was awesome and although I ended it at a familiar campsite uh, it was a beautiful night last night, and I got some rattles in here. If you look out that way, the sun has just popped over the hill there. Yeah, it was a great trip, and you never know what you're going to find, you know. Most people wouldn't uh, look to central Kansas for any vacation ideas or any sights to see, really. Stop rattling. Uh, so I was pretty happy with that. And uh, I've got some more stuff on the list to go check out, but we'll have to wait for the next adventure for that, obviously. So I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, the wind was a little wild yesterday morning and last night was a little bit lazy, but all in all, another great camping adventure so i guess y'all with the sun behind me stay tuned for the next adventure i'll see you in a bit